guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry I hope that this message find you doing well. You have joined me on my digital journey and I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. Go ahead, subscribe to my channel and please share it with your family and with your friends. Hello to my family, hello to my friends. Thank you for joining me on my digital journey. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your words of encouragement. I'm going to dive right in. Because what I've got for you today is awesome. I'm going to be talking to you about in return. Yes, in return. What do you think I mean about in return? What comes to mind? Perhaps you go to the store, you return something. What do you get in return for what you do? This is my digital journey. So when I bring things or I drop you golden nuggets, it's always about something that is transpiring or had transpired that I have the ability to talk to you about. If you've been following me for quite some time, you know that I usually get a word or phrase, a statement from the Holy Spirit, and then he basically said, go now and this is what I want you to talk about. So when I heard the word in return, I was like, okay, what is it that you want to show me? But first, let's go ahead and get the meaning of in return. Because, you know, it's going to have all kind of different meanings. So I just want to give you heads up of what it is or the direction that the Holy Spirit is going to go. So say, for instance, exchange. That's one of them. When you get something in return, you exchange something. Um, another meaning is said swap. That could be you swap something out. Makes sense. Um... Another meaning is like to profit, um, trade. I um, wanted to get another one at least to see. It says to go and to come in place again or come back or to go back. So I guess like you're leaving and you're coming back, return. So you kind of like get the gist of what in return is. Not that complicated. But I like the one where it says swap. Okay. So it's like exchange, like you're swapping services for something. So let's talk about that one, swap. So if you go into a place of employment and you do a certain um, task, in exchange, they give you compensation. Um, most of the time, it's never an equal swap, but you get something in return for the services that you provided. It's the same thing with relationships. You're in a relationship with someone. You're doing something for that person. You're giving them your time, your energy, your love, your support, your guidance. And of course, you would expect to get something in return for what it is that you're doing. It's not likely that you will find someone that is going to do something and do not expect to get something in return. That's not more likely to happen. It, 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 it doesn't happen too often. Um, Somebody's always looking for something in return. So, 
question would be, why should I have a relationship with God? Why should I do this God thing? What is it that I personally going to get from God in return? And I'm sure a lot of people ask that question. I go to church. I pray. I believe. I trust. But I don't seem to be getting anything in return. It's just like I'm just like sitting, waiting for what? To think God is going to show up for me and do something for me after all this time that I've been praying? Well, there is scripture, of course, for what it is that you may be thinking or whatever it is that you're feeling. And it specifically says, and it's in the book of Psalms. 34, 9 to 10, that if you follow God's directions, you will be blessed, you will be saved, you will be watched over, you will be taken care of, you will be given whatever it is that you ask for, you will be happy, you will live longer life, and you will lack nothing. Wow, that's an extensive list. So imagine, all you have to do is read the Word of God, be obedient, do exactly what it is that God asks you to do. You may experience some trials and some tribulations, but it tells you that you will be blessed, you will be saved. You will be watched over. You will be taken care of. You will be given what you ask for. You will be happy. You will live longer. And you will lack nothing good. Tell me that is not something. A great return. For just investing your time. Your energy. And giving God your life. And said yes to him. And that you will do these things for him. And this is what God will give you in return. I don't know about you. But I think that that is phenomenal. You can't go wrong with that. I want you to know that the word of God. It is true. It is true. It is true. And God is a shield to all of us who come to him and ask him for protection. So if you haven't done it already, please build that relationship with God and you will get so much in return. He loves you and he wants nothing but the best for you. So my question to you each, each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am, so let's be fed daily bread. Ooh.